Hi, I'm Jonathan. I've been appointed your Friday guy, and um, I'm going to try and be a regular contributor, if you'll have me. And, um, and otherwise, I'll, I'll be a little bit of a slightly irregular contributor. But I'm really excited to have been invited to FTM Kickstart, and I, I hope that, uh, that my videos are going to be of, of some use to people. Uh, what else? Um, I'm 26, I live in the Netherlands, I'm Dutch-British, and uh, I'm sitting on a box marked Hamlet, which is normal procedure for Dutch people. No. So, this week's topic is swimming. Um, I'm going to try and answer the structure's qu uh, I'm going to try and ask the question... <sighs> I'm so confused right now. I am try... yes, let's go with that. I'm going to try to answer the structure's question. Uh, nowadays I just wear swimming trunks, but before I had top surgery um, I used to wear swimming trunks and above that a uh, swimming binder made by Danae. I'll put a link in the video description below because uh, she makes nice products and um, it, is, it might come in useful for guys living in the Netherlands or neighbouring countries rather than having stuff shipped all the way from the US. That binder worked pretty well, it, it hid most of my chest, but then I had a C-cup, so um, I would often wear a, an Underworks binder, an Underworks tri-top under that, to keep everything completely flat. That was not entirely convenient, because those Underworks binders can be hard to take off when dry, when wet it's so much worse. And, and then um, I would also only get changed in the single stall changing booths rather than uh, a general men's changing room if there were single booths. If there weren't single booths then forget it, I wouldn't go swimming in that pool. I do pack while swimming because swimming shorts get kind of clingy when wet and uh, to me it, it really does stand out that I'm not packing. So I, I have this special kind of speedo, which is also made by Danae, and it's, um, it just kind of looks like a speedo, and I wear this under my swimming trunks, and it's got a little pocket um, to put your packy in, and it can actually sort of close um, so that you don't lose your penis when you take a dive, which is, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of... Um, I've been there, and it is um, inconvenient to lose your shorts in a pool, but it is so much more inconvenient to have to dive back down because you lost your penis. But if you do pack while swimming, uh, use something that doesn't absorb water, because otherwise you're going to look like you peed your pants long after all the rest of you has dried. And that happened to a friend of mine once, and it was a little bit awkward. I've actually never really had any problems with the scars after top surgery, and I'll show you my chest um, so that you can have some context for that. Because, um, as you can see, I, I do have... Um, bilateral mastectomy scars, so they are quite visible, and also there's some asymmetry. Um, this nipple is uh, larger than that one, and it's also a slightly different shape and different colour. And for some reason, it's all sort of pink and inflamed today, so it looks even worse than usual. Um, but I've, I've never really had any questions from people about um, my scars, and I think uh, the reason for hello, that's not right. Uh, and I think. The reason for that is that scars are something that people are usually um, a little bit more careful about asking about. And, and I, I know that we, as trans people, frequently get paranoid about our surgery scars because when it's trans-related surgery, people all of a sudden feel that they can ask the most offensive and personal questions ever. But when people don't know that scars are because of trans-related surgery, then they'll frequently show a whole lot more restraint in asking personal questions about it. I've actually only had one person ask me about my scars in the past year. And, and I have run around in pools without a shirt, I've, I've run around on the beach without a shirt, I've run around in the middle of town on a busy Saturday uh, without a shirt, and nobody has asked any questions. The only time in the past year that somebody has actually come up to me and asked me about my scars uh, wasn't even in a swimming pool or on the beach. It was actually in a gay bar where I had spent um, a considerable amount of hours uh, running around without my shirt on um, wearing a rainbow cape. And uh, I sat down at the bar next to this guy I'd been talking to a little bit early in the day and basically the conversation went like this. Okay, I'm just gonna ask, because I've been looking. Um, I know my fair share of surgeries, and 
I know that heart surgery is like this. Shoulder surgery is like this. Um, this one? I don't know. Ah, well, uh, Actually, I do know a surgery that is like that, but, uh, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Well, I did not see that coming. Oh well. Drink? So it wasn't a big issue, but then um, I'm very comfortable being out. For some people that might not be comfortable or that might not be an option. Um, in which case, remember that they don't know that it's trans surgery. If they knew, they wouldn't be asking you. So seeing as they don't know, you can actually tell them you don't want to talk about it. And because it's a scar, people will usually accept that at face value. Other advice or suggestions um, is uh, if you want to go swimming, but you're kind of nervous about it, um, take a friend. Uh, go together with a friend. And if you're going to the pool, it's probably a good idea to go with a friend anyway, because uh, there are creepy people, and some of them like to hang out at pools. Also, if you go to the pool, and you're wearing um, a swimming shirt, or, or, or a diving shirt, or something like that, um, firstly, some pools do have rules about shirts. And even though a swimming shirt or a diving shirt is made of the type of textile that also counts as bathing gear, um, it should be okay, but you might want to check the rules of the pool, um, just to avoid the embarrassment of being called aside by the pool guard to have them inspect your shirt to see if it's, if it's appropriate, or to have to explain to them why you're wearing the shirt when you're swimming in the pool and you notice people looking at you. It's, it's really easy to get paranoid because um, most of the time you, you do feel kind of vulnerable in a clingy shirt, but you're probably not showing anything out of the ordinary on your chest. It's just the fact that you're wearing a shirt. It's just a type of bathing gear that not a lot of people wear. And so people will look and uh, just be prepared for that. But also remember that it's not about your chest. It's about what you're wearing.